Lou, testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Hey there, how's it going? Uh, let me know if the audio is off either on my headset or on the game. Uh, we changed our setup a little bit, so it might be a little different. <laughs> awesome. How are you doing, Weapon? Cool. Hello. Hey, Kickler. Hey, Column Money. I will say your username as long as there aren't too many of you on right now. Um, so we're just beginning, uh, and we're going to be playing through a bit of our Dice Award winner um, from 2015, uh, Shadow of Mordor. And we're going to also be giving away a few game codes a little later. So, you know, sit tight. We're going to do some interesting stuff. Do you guys already have the game, or have you played the game at all? So, um, yeah, I know, the game is a lot of fun. Um, it's a great combo of different game elements, um, you know, along with being in the Middle-Earth lore. So if you're a big fan of Lord of the Rings, the books, more or less the movies, um, and the action of, like, Assassin's Creed mixed with Batman, Arkham, the Arkham games, um, it's a lot of fun. I This is one of my favorite games, personally, of last year. And... Um, we're playing the end game a little bit at this point. Uh, I beat the game in this save, but uh, there's still a lot to do, a lot of unlockables, a lot of uh, boss characters to still beat, so um, I thought this was the best way to show off the game, probably. Uh, my guy is pretty powered up at this point. Just depends on what you want to do, I guess. Give me a little bit of time though. I need to adjust. It's been a little bit of time. But um yeah. Um the action I thought was really fluid. I really enjoyed um, you know, the combat to the exploration to the movement. Um Pretty fun. And there's a lot to do. You can ride different beasts. You can, there's like a Rancor like beast um, that uh, is really cool once you get the ability to do it. And uh, the game flows pretty quick, too. You know. Um, right now, what I'm doing is I'm just going to basically control all these people because that's always fun. Um, I actually almost broke the game doing this, <laughs> but uh, not a bad thing to do. If you want to see anything from the game specifically, uh, let me know. Again, I'm at the end game, so everything's pretty much unlocked in this save. I'm just gonna basically <laughs> make myself a little army here. Oh, I can't move. There we go. And um, you know, I, I think one of the coolest things and what a lot of people talk about probably is the nemesis system, uh, which the game has. Oh. Um, so, uh, you know, kind of one of the... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's my own little personal army of slaves. Let's see if I remember how to call all of them. There we go. Um, I think there's more enemies this way. 
Yeah, uh, you get this ability about midway through the game. Uh, and um, yeah, what, like I was saying, uh, the nemesis system. The, the nemesis system. The cool thing about it is, um, each one of these enemies technically um, is its own character, right? Um, the, if a character kills you in the game, that's not a boss, uh, like a regular enemy. Um, that character can become um, its own named character that grows in strengths over time. Hold on, let's kill these people. Bam. And, um, oh, and so like right here, um, one of the characters um, that's running away is the boss character. This guy killed me a long, long time ago. And um, they have different traits um, from when they defeated you, which is really cool. And so I'll open up the menu really quick. And so this menu, um, this playing field pretty much is a mixture of people that have defeated you, uh, boss characters um, that are already pre-fixed in the game, and then on the you know it goes by rank. So on the bottom are like the lieutenants, and all the way at top are uh, the war chiefs who you're trying to get to. And you can do a, a whole mess of things. You can like get people to betray each other. You can do power struggles. You can get assassins, um, which is what I probably enjoyed most about the game. So. Hey Tyra. So uh, we're going to be giving away a code of Shadow of the Mortar. Hold on, let me target this guy. There we go. And um, it's going to be a copy of the PS4 version in particular, so just a heads up on that. Um, and uh, we'll do giveaways throughout the show. So um, and l we'll do the first giveaway in about like 10 minutes or so. And uh, thanks to Monolith for giving us codes. Um, we really appreciate it. Hold on, let me see if I can catch this guy in time. Oh, come on. I can just do this. You know, and a lot of them have their own lines, so let's see if we can get this guy to spout out something. Let's get my army. But yeah, Tyrell, have you played the game at all? Oh, and there's the Rancor. Uh, hold on, let's get this guy. There we go. Hey, I got a trophy. So this character is pretty cool. Unfortunately, you don't get the ability until about like later, past the halfway point in the game. But um, it would be cool if we can mount him. And so, yeah, so it's actually really hard to get this creature at first. Yeah, you like the game, Keckler? <laughs> um, you don't get this ability because you have to, you know, get upgrades and stuff, but uh, you don't get this particular ability until about later in the game. Let's see if we could eat. Do you mean the game, Tyrell, or do you mean uh, do you mean something else? Let's see. Oh, <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Thank you. Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Let me check. I don't think you can. Unfortunately, there's some limitations. Like you can't go down this little cliff, but uh. Hey, Iflex. No, we haven't. Um, we could definitely try uh, in the future, and we'll uh, ask our uh, friends on Twitch about it. Yeah, but yeah, like I'm trying to run through this building right now. Nothing's breaking. I know. Um, I think some of the set pieces in like the mission you get this Rancor for the, for, for the first time. Uh, some buildings break, but uh, not in this scene, it seems like. So, uh, let's see, what else can we do here? I can do this all day long, I, I shouldn't, but uh, I'm gonna just uh, let him go in a little bit. 
because this is ridiculous. It's a, <laughs> it's a lot of fun, though. Thanks, Iflos. I really appreciate it. Um, most of it comes from um, our regular show um, that we do in February and in September. We have uh, something called the Dice Summit and the Dice Europe Summit. Or Dice Europe, I apologize. And uh, we have different talks from um, people in the gaming industry. And so, yeah, it's really cool. We live stream it every year. And uh, if you need more information about it, just uh, let me know either in chat or uh, follow our Twitter channel at official underscore AIAS. Oh my god, I have a lot of people following me. Hey there! Do you have a channel as well, Ifless? And by the way, guys, if you do have channels, uh, let me know too. And uh, we can definitely check it out. Let's run. I will. I will kill him right, right after this, and um, we'll do an actual mission. Uh, all right. All right. All right. All right. Just. Uh, I think he's controlled, so I think he'll do my bidding. Hopefully. And uh, for everyone here right now, um, is there anyone interested in a giveaway? <laughs> Which is why I'm sure many of you are here right now. So, uh, let's see. I need to set up a keyword, so... We'll make it simple. Yeah, when you do, I feel as let me know. Uh, I can definitely, more than happy to check it out and help out when I can. Um, we'll do hashtag win. So... If you type in the word, I'm going to type it out right now, hashtag win, um, you'll be entered to win a code, a PS4 code for Shadows of Mordor. And um, yeah, I'll choose a winner right after everyone uh, inputs it in, so I'll give you guys a couple minutes to do that. And while you guys do that, I'm going to... Oh, hello. I am going to go find my target. So uh, we uh, we stream every Tuesday at 3:30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 6:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's um, so yeah, just uh, check us out every week then. Yeah, um, I, I the beast is controlled until he dies, pretty much at this point. Oh, hello. Oh no, come on. Oh, I'm out of elf shot. That's not good. Hold on. I need to get more arrows. Alrighty. Um, for anyone just joining us again, if you type in hashtag win, uh, you'll be entered to win a code for Shadow of Mordor. Oh. Okay. Um, it's for the PS4 copy. Thanks, Iflez. I really appreciate it. Um, again, let me know if there's any game in particular you like as well that you're enjoying that you would like us to play in the future as well. And so let's choose a winner. Bam. Um, alrighty. Roll. And Weven, you are the winner. So, uh, Wevin, I'm going to message you a code right after the stream. So, uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. And, uh, we have a couple more giveaways going on, so don't be just don't feel too bad if you haven't won yet. We have a lot more going. But, congratulations, Wevin. Kekler, there's, you know, there's a lot more opportunities. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, no worries, Wevin. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed the game. Um, we'll have about, um, about let's say, three to four more giveaways before um, I stop streaming for the day. 
Okay, so there's our boss target right there. I'm just going to go straight for it because it takes a long time to set it up if you want to do it the smart way, which is trying to do all the power struggles and um, weaken him. Um, not yet, Iflez. Maybe in the future. Only strength of stone survives the we just started streaming a couple of weeks ago, um, more regularly, so... Hey, yeah, Keklar. Um, we'll, we'll do more giveaways for the game, for sure. Yeah, giveaways for this game, sorry. Um, hold on, what are we doing here? Trigger the Uryx to raise the alarm. Ah, oh, that's what I need to do. And yeah, um, our hope for the future is, um, you know, last week we had a talk with Rami from Vlambeer. Um We want to do dev talks, we want to do... Uh, oh, this is going to suck. We want to... Uh, oh, there's the boss. Th this game confuses you, there's a lot of things going on. So there's one boss, but uh, I'm looking for the main guy. There we go, the alarm is sounded. And again, if you guys want to see anything in particular, do let me know. This game won 8 of our Death Awards um, this past year. OMG. <laughs> There's a lot of people. So as you can tell from all the arrows, those are people that want to kill me. There's a lot of them. Um, the good thing is there are a lot of traps in this area, so... Let's see if I can get everybody. Oh, come on, follow me. Oh, and I can get that guy to help me out. Ugh. You can do stealth kills. Um, again, you can brand people to do like what you want. So I'm going to make this guy my slave. Hey ho. Oh, there's no one else watching me. You know, Iflez, we want to. Um, we're not sure just yet. We need to get the game. Um, but definitely want to. Are you excited about the game? Or is anyone else excited about Witcher 3? Let's see. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scenery right here. We're going to make sure everyone has a great time. So those are bees. Um, bees basically distract everybody. We're going to do a little more. Have more fun. <laughs> yeah, no, Witcher 3 looks great. Um, I saw the Conan uh, video recently, which was pretty funny. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Well, let's let's do it. Gonna be a little distracted here, so I apologize. And you can see there's like a parry system. If you played uh, any of the Arkham games, you're gonna be right at home with this game. This game is actually a fun way to um, prepare for Witcher in some ways. <laughs> you know, just an action adventure in a fantasy land. Yeah. No, I mean, it, the, from the preview, it looks, you know, pretty good, right? This is a very violent game, too, so just FYI. Yeah, and I, I'm very much looking forward to Witcher. Oh, there's one of my... Uh, orcs, orc friends. So when the yellow, when it turns yellow, um, you know, they're looking for me. When it turns red, they're... Oh, that's glitchy. <laughs> Hold on. I'm not getting what I want right here. I'm trying to get to the final boss in this area. Um, the war chief, but uh, the alarm hasn't sounded. But yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to Witcher 3 for sure. And uh, we'll try to stream the game uh, when it comes out. Um, you know, we'd love to also, you know, get you know the developer on here to talk about the game. Um, but, you know, this is all just hypotheticals. We don't know if it's going to happen just yet, but uh, hopefully. You know, um, I, I think what we would love to do for this channel is to make it both about game developers, about great games, about everyone loves to play, you know, kind of get a slew of different kind of uh, live streams here. Um, and so again, like I say every week, um, if you have ideas about people you want to see on here, like, you know, you can go 
reach for the stars, right? You can, if you want Miyamoto on here, or um, if you want to hear from uh, Randy Pitchford of uh, Borderlands, let us know, and um, we'll do our best to um, accommodate. Oh no! Oh, the odds are always in my the odds are always in your favor in this game. Well, once you get enough of your powers in the beginning. Um, one of the coolest part about the game, and a sucky part about the game, uh, depending on your perspective, um, is you can go right into this. You know, you can basically fight 50 orcs at once, but um, you should not do that. <laughs> in my opinion, unless you are doing much better than I do. Ooh, another boss. Yeah, if you're other Borderlands fans, um, Gearbox is one of our members at the Academy. And so uh, we can definitely ask if they're interested in playing. Uh, oh, this poor guy. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we will definitely put that on our um, to-do list of people to ask. We know they have a couple new games coming up, um, so they might uh, be up to talk about some of them, as well as talk about Borderlands and all that craziness. Some of our other Ah, uh, there we go. See, some of the bosses also have, like, characteristics. Ooh, what happened? Yeah, no, I mean, it's... It, this this game, it... You know, some people accuse it of being, you know, just a hodgepodge of ideas, but I, I think, personally, it flows really well together. And um, I have a lot of fun doing it. Ah, oh, let's see. I have no traps. Oh, there we go, right here. This is this will attract different beasts, so they'll come and help me out. Well, yeah, there we go. So that's good. Yeah, um, so far, I mean, again, we just started streaming a couple weeks ago. Um, the uh, only developer on here so far has been Vlambeer, um, who has created, like, Nuclear Throne, and... Um, during our talks, we've had people talk from, like, Halo. Um, we had the developer of Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 2. Um, yeah, we just had a ton of different people, you know. So that was kind of cool. Uh, you can check out most of the content on YouTube. You know, there are all our talks are on YouTube. Um, and so you can check out who has talked at our conferences uh, to give you a better sense of, you know, ideas of people you might want on our live streams and definitely they mostly answered you know fan questions uh that's always pretty cool Ooh, assassin's creed drop <laughs> here let's kill some orcs or maybe not i don't think this is gonna go well uh, i i gotta this is just terrible <laughs> let me see if i can get my little army here i know i have a couple of them ideally you would usually get like um people that are on your side to come join you. Um, what else? You know, we had the developer of uh, Mighty Number no. 9. Uh, this game is based on both the movies and the game, um, the book, I apologize. Um, so it's based on all the lore. This is a prequel, technically, to uh, um, all of Lord of the Rings. And even The Hobbit, you know. So this kind of gives you backstory on how the ring was made, and um, before Sauron was prevalent. No, exactly, I flies. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, I apologize. So it's in between um, those two, I believe. Oh, this poor guy. Oh, they know where I am. Oh, I need to kill orcs. That's why I'm doing so terribly. You know, I mean, the Nemesis system could do so many things in different uh, games, right? This this game only scratches the surface of um, what could be done. Oh, let's do this. Um, you know, I would love to see it in an RPG. I would love to see it, you know, in a, you know, in a platformer. I know, right? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Uh, I mean, what games would you like to see the Nemesis system in? Like, is there anything you'd like to see in terms of games that, you know, give all your enemies names and make them bosses so you know what's kind of here i'll i'll, I'll uh <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll show you when i die really quick what happens so it's kind of cool 
not the boss, but uh, when a regular character defeats me. Um, uh, well, there's two things that happen, right? So one thing that happens, so when you die, you have a chance to, um, you know, it's like a last chance shot. So if I hit this button, I could survive, but I'm not going to do that. So this is a regular enemy. And uh, he killed me. And look at this, he becomes his own character, there's a random name generator, um, he gets his own elements, it, it's insane. And so this guy becomes part of the playing field, and he becomes part of this whole grid of bosses to defeat. Yeah, so that's interesting. Yeah, I, I think it's a really fascinating system, and um, you know, I, I think a lot of games can benefit from this. Um, if you search on, uh, yeah, Bafra. Barfa. <laughs> if you search on YouTube, you can actually look at a talk where the developer of uh, Shadow of Mordor talks about the Nemesis system. Yeah! Yeah, and it's crazy. It, 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 I think it's pretty... Yeah! It, it's, oh wow, there's a lot of change going on. So anyway, there's a lot of stuff going on. And then uh, you'll restart at a tower, a watchtower. By the way, I think it's time for another giveaway, right? Um, so let me give give you guys a new give you guys a new keyword. So if you type in the keyword "shadow" in the next couple of minutes, um, you're entered to win a PS4 code of Shadow of Mordor. So again, uh, enter the keyword "shadow" in chat, and you'll be uh, entered to win. Um, the Shadow of Mordor game, and we'll be doing, we'll be streaming for about another 30 minutes, so, you know, don't think it's your last chance. There's still a couple more chances to win. Okay. So while you guys are doing that, I'm going to try to kill this guy again, but I'll do it a bit smarter. So every person here is connected, right, to different people on the board, um, which are like bodyguards, and so what I'm going to try to do here is target one of his bodyguards. And uh, make him my servant, pretty much. You know, I actually haven't played it. I've only seen footage of it, um, iFlez. Hey, Rush. Yeah, it is PS4, unfortunately. So uh, uh, we only got PS4 codes for this game. Um, just letting, just FYI. Nope, you don't have to be a sub. Anyone watching um, is entered to win. Uh, let's see, where are we going? And yeah, again, um, just people that have just joined in, welcome. Um, this is the Academy Channel of Interactive Arts and Sciences. And uh, we're just playing the Game of the Year winner, or not Game of the Year, I'm sorry, a DICE Awards winner from the DICE Awards, uh, Shadow of Mordor. It's also in stores right now, the Game of the Year version, so um, if you don't win and you really want to play the game, do check it out. Uh, the Game of the Year edition has all the DLC included. Uh, the code I'm giving out today doesn't include all the DLC, so just a heads up. Oh my gosh, he's all the way on the other side of the map. I gotta get myself like a beast. Um, let's see. I'm gonna try not to bore you too much by, but you know, running across this land isn't doesn't take that long. Surprisingly, it's a really quick game, um, and I got an ability point, which is cool. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, it's a rancor. Should I do? No, I don't want it again. Next time. I need to kill a boss. I, I'm gonna mind control a boss for you. So that's my goal. It won uh, Best Game Direction, uh, Game Design, Innovation. There's a lot. <laughs> it won eight awards at the at, at our award ceremony. So, hey, Tominga. Um, we're going to be giving away games for Xbox, but not today. Um, not for this game. So, in the future, uh, you know, stay tuned, and um, we'll definitely give out a different game. So, uh, Ifles, by the way, you are a winner. So, uh, Ifla, you are a winner of one of our codes, so congratulations. I'll be um, sending out the code um, right after the stream. So, just FYI. Alright, so... Hold on, let's see what we can do here. 
Oh, look at this. This is so beautiful. We'll be giving out at least about two more codes um, for the game. Oh, he's gonna run away? Oh, he's fleeing away. No, terrible. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 he's... Oh my gosh, hold on. Oh, where is he? There he is, there he is. I can get him. And killing all these bosses is really important too, because they unlock you uh, different abilities for your weapons. Come on, come on, I gotta... There we go. Yeah, when you get that ability, the range is incredible. Oh my god. Hold on, I just gotta assassinate some people here. <laughs> Doing this a little wrong. Oh my gosh, it's been too long. Oh, and there's these creepy creatures. So yeah, we'll be giving out a couple more game codes, so stay tuned, guys. And, um, you know, you can't subscribe yet, but uh, if you do follow, we do appreciate that. Uh, we'll have a lot more games and people... And hey, iFlays, yeah, totally. You can use it, um, I think, almost whenever. I don't think these expire. Um, so, just a heads up. Yeah, I'll do it. No, I can't do that. Fine, I'll do that. So yeah, you can unlock abilities, you can unlock runes, upgrades to your weapon. Oh, come on, man. Um, and so, let's see. What are we going to do here? Um, let's see. So we might controlled one of these guys. Or did we? Oh, we didn't. But it's okay, we're gonna go after this guy. So I have an army member now, I have a boss that's on my side, and we're gonna go after this war chief and take him down. Because, you know, I want to. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let me know if you have any other questions about the game. Again, it's pretty fun. I I've enjoyed it quite a lot. There is a story mode, you don't just have to do this the whole time, but it is fun. Just going around. <laughs> Killing orcs, mind controlling orcs. And uh, you're pretty quick for the most part. And uh, remember, um, every Tuesday we'll be streaming at this point at 3 30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, unless um, we say differently on our uh, Twitter. Ch our, uh, Twitter. So uh, make sure to follow us at official underscore AIAS, and we'll post updates on Twitch as well all the time. Man, I put about <laughs> I put a lot of hours into this game. I would say this is like hour twenty-five, maybe. Shall oh, this is easy, I think. But I, I I put a lot of time into this game. Oh, this might go really poorly. I should run away. You can probably beat the game in about 10 hours, um, just the story mode by itself. But um, if you want to put more hours into the game, doing all the missions, getting the abilities, it takes a lot more time. You know, there's a lot of uh, options, that's for sure. So there's our target. Hold on, we have our night vision mode. So there's our target, I believe. I am the community manager of the Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences. Um, this was one of our Dice Award winning games this year. And um, they also spoke at our conference as well. Uh, the footage you can check out again on YouTube. Oh, this is gonna go awfully. I made a mistake. I. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see if I can get supporters. No, I haven't, Monkey. I wish I did. Um, I was 
about like 90% there, and then I stopped playing um, just because too many other games came up. So um, I kind of want to go back and complete it all the way. You know, I, I'm really bad about that for most games, actually. Um, you know, there's too many games that come out, and you get sidetracked. You know, as, you, as they say, you always have that never-ending backlog. Okay, alright, alright. So I see this guy right here. So you can attract people as well. Yeah, you, you enjoyed the Tetris stock? And Iflez, um... You know, just follow us on our social media channels. Um, just um, we always post different topics every day. We post questions and ways to, you know, get involved. It's probably the best way to do it. <laughs> oh, this is awful, 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 awful. Oh my god. But yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed Alexi. He, he, that was a fun talk, especially if you liked uh, the, if you wanted to know more about the Tetris history. Where is my target here? Up oh, here. Yeah, they do have an army here. You do have throwing knives as well. Oops, oh my gosh. This is, uh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What should I do here? This is not a... You can't think like I'm doing. <laughs> you gotta act really quick. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, it was cool. Um, it was a really uh, educational talk, and uh, especially if you're a Tetris fan, I think it was a lot of fun. Um, we're definitely glad. Oh my gosh, I killed him. So, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> let's uh, let's go do this mission instead. Duel. So depending on how you play the game too, you can um, make the bosses face each other, you can make them uh, betray each other, fight against each other. But, um, yeah, like Jin is saying, too, um, again, we have a variety of talks online, um, that are inspirational, you know, um, historical, all different types that are a lot of fun to watch. Um, and they're all on YouTube. Just type in Dice Talk, or, uh, Dice 2015, 2014, um, a number of the years are on there. And, yeah, a lot of them are available via YouTube. Um, I, I'll also start posting a little bit, some of them, on here, in case uh, anyone's interested. <laughs> yeah, me too. I have the original Game Boy version way back when. It's a lot of fun. Alright, alright, alright. So, I, I see my target here. And uh, he's a very interesting guy as well. We got to talk a little bit at DICE, and um, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, iFlez, we talked to um, the developer about a part two, and they always say we can't talk about future releases. So here you have <laughs> you have our good friend Barfa, <laughs> who killed me. And then you have uh, Dugza, who are going to fight each other. And uh, I can influence this fight, or I can just let them let them do it. They're just slugging it out, trying to overpower one another, and that'll influence um, their power strength levels and everything. So, they're, they're just standing there, for whatever reason. They're just like, hey, I'm just gonna eye you for a little bit. Um, ah, come on, come on. Okay, see, so he's shooting him with his, uh, his arrows, so he's doing a little bit of damage. All right, um, we'll do one more give or two more giveaways. One more in a couple minutes, so hang in there, guys. Team Berta, yeah. So you you would like Berta to win, or um, Barfa? I keep calling him Berta. He's about to lose. Oh no! I'm gonna influence this. I'm gonna make this. Oh, that's terrible. So all the bosses also have um, different attributes. Oh, Barfa died. Yeah, I, I apologize, guys. Barfa didn't make it. So, you know. <laughs> so that happened. <laughs> Good one, Kekler. I have no idea. <laughs> and uh, Wolverine, um, you know, there, 
there are a couple of them that got really tough. Um, whether it's because I, you know, took too long in killing them. Oh, he knows I'm here. In the pit fights, if I got a month to break you in. Uh, terrible. But yeah, Wolverine. Um, a couple of them have gotten pretty darn strong, and um, they're always beatable. Um, it's not, it's not hard. It's just they get so many invulnerabilities to things like ranged weapons, and you can't stealth kill them. That you have to just go all in, you know, up front. So here's one of the upgrades. So each of the bosses leaves a ruin for you to pick up. So we're gonna pick this up, and uh, here is like our menu of things you can upgrade um, your weapons to, and you get a lot of them. And there's a couple of rare ones too. <laughs> exactly. So let's do our third giveaway, and uh, let's see. <laughs> For our third giveaway, in honor of our good friend Barfa, um, if you type in hashtag Barf, <laughs> you can be entered to win um, a PS4 copy of Shadow of the Mordor. So again, um, hashtag Barf, and um, you'll be entered to win uh, a PS4 copy of uh, Shadow of the Mordor. Um, one other thing about these codes, guys, that I forgot to mention, and I apologize. Um, they are US only, so uh, I do apologize if you're not in the US. Um, if you are not in the U.S., let me know, and um, I'll try to get you another game code. So just let me know. So, um... Alrighty. Uh, oh, they're taunting me now. Terrible. Oh, 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 I see opportunity. So these green guys have intel. Oh, come on, come on, come, hold on, come back, come back. Ah, fine, that's fine. So yeah, again, hashtag barf to enter to win a US copy of Shadow of Mordor for PS4. Yes, we do. <laughs> Long live Barfa. Hold on, let's see if we can get this guy to, uh... So we have another guy. And, um, let's go to this little marker here. Um, so yeah, L let's see. Um, there's also these weapon missions. You get, um, missions just to upgrade stuff. Um, so this mission in particular, let's see. Um, curious what this one is. Guys, last chance, hashtag barf to enter to win a PS4 copy of Shadow of Mordor. Oh, I see. So I have to kill these guys from above. So these missions um, are very specific. Or um, I have to stealth kill all these guys. Which I'm already doing terrible at, I can see. <laughs> I flies no, there isn't, which is, you know, a good and bad thing. Um, it's bad because... Uh, if you get too many, the game kind of chugs a little bit. But you can have a, literally an army of 50, 50 orcs with you and just run around with them killing other people. If you really wanted to. It's pretty ridiculous. Uh, which is what I was saying one time. I, I almost, I think I almost broke the game by just having like an army of 50 to 100 different uh, minions here. So I need to still kill five of these guys to um, succeed in this mission. And uh, before we go on, you can take a look at our lovely orc while I choose a winner. So, our winner is going to be Poop Monsoon 93. So, Poop Monsoon 93, congratulations. We do stand with Barf, and um, for that, you are rewarded. <laughs> so, uh, congratulations, Poop. You are the winner. Um, I'm going to be messaging you the code after the stream, so uh, um, just watch your uh, Twitch inbox for the code. We'll do one last giveaway at about 4.20-ish, uh, 20, 20 -ish. so if you guys hang in there for about 10 more minutes, um, we'll do one last giveaway. <laughs> Alrighty. 
Oh, no, 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 no. So, CC, when, if the yellow bar goes all the way up, they know, they, 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 they suspect something's there. And then when it's red, you know, you're detected. Oh, 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 this is... Oh! Well, here, I got, I got one. <laughs> and, whoa, he's bouncing up pretty high. <laughs> Yeah, I am using the Twitch plugin for the contest, so it is the Twitch plugin is rolling all of it. Oh, don't raise the beacon. And you can tell you can tell there's so many things to collect and so many things to, you know, to do. We'll do this one more time. No, you never know, Kekler. There's one more chance. There's one more chance to win. You never know. Your odds are pretty good here, you know. In my opinion, I, ho I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Um, I hope the sound quality is all good. Um, we're still experimenting and trying to make sure that everything is good on here. So again, if there's any problems, do let me know. I should be using this a lot more. <laughs> the night vision. Hope is for the weak. <laughs> Yeah, if I had enough code, guys, I wish I could give it out to all, everybody, you know, would love to do that. Um, let's see what we have. But yeah, again, I, this is one of my favorite games from last year. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, and I hope everyone that gets to play it and does enjoy it. Or, um, you know, plans to get it. Yeah, someone thinks I'm close by. <laughs> it's good to know, Weapon. I appreciate it. We've come a long way, in all honesty. Um, we've been experimenting since last year, and uh, we just never had the the right equipment. And finally, I think we got the right combination. Um, for our next stream, we do hope um, we're in talks with um, Day9, if anyone knows who he is, um, to come on the stream. Have a fun chat with us. We're going to fail this mission, aren't we? <laughs> Um, and uh, we're in talks with other people, um, st live streamers and um, different people in the industry to talk. So it won't just be like people, um, like just developers. We're hoping to get a variety of people. This guy is peeing. Um, we're going to interrupt his peeing. I apologize. <laughs> Sorry, Orc. I'm sure he had a great name. P Monza. Oh, 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 don't look at me, don't look at me. I'm going to fail this mission again, aren't I? Ah. Total sickness, we're not dice. <laughs> so, one thing to note, um, we're not the same as the Dice Studio. So, um, when we say Dice, um, it stands for the Dice Summit, which is our uh, conference we held every year in February and in... Uh, September for our European conference. Here, I'm just gonna kill. I need. I need to kill a boss so I can prove my worth here. So that, uh, we could. Uh, we could have someone from um, EA Dice on here. But uh, we are not that same studio. You know, um, we're the Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences. So. Just something to know. When we have like um, a thousand people on here watching, and people are always asking, "Are we the Dice Studios?" You know, <laughs> I'm very used to that question. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm gonna force choke you. So cool, Coolio. All right, I'm gonna prove my worth before the end of the stream. So I have 15 minutes to do this. And I'm going to prove that I can actually kill a boss in this game. <laughs> oh man, hello. Yeah, there, there are some crazy scenarios on here of um, how you go about these missions. Let's see, our supporter. We'll just start headshotting people. get a little bit of a uh, slow-mo time here. Now you can upgrade over the time. 
Oh no, he moved away. Oh, dang it. That's not the way you do it, though. Um, Alright, one last time. And uh, if I fail again, we'll do a giveaway. If I succeed, we'll do a giveaway. So either way, we'll do a giveaway. Oh, I appreciate that, bad mind. All right, all right, all right. Scream, and his master shall answer. One last time. Should have just chosen a mission where you just go in and just, you know, go crazy. The ranger. Oh, see, and if they light the signal, there's a lot more reinforcement people that come up. So I don't want this guy to do that right now. Oh, don't go. We need to talk. Yeah, right. <laughs> Not bad odds at all. Okay. Crikey. Alright, so I got another supporter, which is good. And then who I want to get is right there. Shoot. I need to remember how to hold people in this game. Oh, actually, I could just do this. Yeah, that would be actually really cool. And hopefully something that happens, you know, sooner than later. You can kind of see with even this game and all the elements it has, you know, it has potential to have an interesting Star Wars game. Yeah, I totally think um, a lot more games should use it. It's, I think it's really cool. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Alright, okay, so I got my arrows. So who I need to get... Alright, 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 so there's my target. And I failed again. <laughs> I, I, I keep killing them, I, I'm supposed to hold them. <laughs> Which I know is not the right way. Alright, so I did promise you guys if I did fail the mission, I would do another giveaway. So uh, while I retry this mission one last time for myself, um, let's do a giveaway. So um, for our final little giveaway, if you type in hashtag dice, um, you'll be entered to win a US, copy, US PS4 copy of Shadow of Mordor. And... Uh, I'll give that out after the stream ends. Hello, Mr. Orc. So yeah, hashtag dice, and you'll be entered to win our final giveaway of the day. And good luck to everybody. Make this Uruk scream, and his master shall answer. I'll uh, choose the winner in a couple minutes. Let everybody... Uh, have some time to enter. Yeah, um, I guess my biggest advice for the game would be um, do most of the story, you know, before you get into like the optional stuff. It'll give you a lot more of the abilities. You know, you don't get this branding ability until later on in the game. You don't get to control some of the beasts until later on in the game. So, um, definitely do recommend you play the game through the story mode first. Oh, uh, are my headshot abilities? I got three. Let's distract some people. Let's free the animal. Okay, so. So yeah, yeah. seriously, don't kill the supporter. You need to hold the supporter, which I always forget. I think, okay, I got it. Okay. So, let's see. I need to go over there. So guys, again, a couple more minutes. Um, if you want to still um, get a code for the game. Oh no, too far. 
uh, just type in hashtag hashtag dice and you'll be entered to win. Here we go. We're gonna do this. At the very least, even if I don't beat the boss, I'm gonna get the boss to come to us. So that'll be amusing enough. I hope. Oh no, what am I doing? Okay, okay, okay. So I gotta hold him for <laughs> 10 more seconds. This guy doesn't kill me. Alright, alright, almost there. Seven, six, five, four, don't die on me. Three, two, one. Got it. Finally. There we are. So this is cool because I actually have two supporters here that are going to help me out. So Fulgum, the barrel scraper, is our target here. Oh my gosh, they all know where I am. <laughs> Alright, hold on. So, before I do that, um, I'll do my final giveaway now. <laughs> giveaway right now. And uh, total sickness, you are our winner today. Congratulations. So again, congratulations to total sickness. Um, I'll message you right after the stream ends with the code. So, uh, just letting you know, FYI. Hold on, I gotta do this. Fight for, me. Fight for me. Come on. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Wolverine. <laughs> you Come on, where's my allies here? So there's my opponent. And again, if you haven't won, um, you know, it's all good. There is more opportunities to win in future streams, and um, you never know when I'll be giving the code out again, so always stay tuned. And uh, before I end the stream, I do want to try to win here, so I have five minutes to do this. Let's see if I win. Oh, oh come on, where's my allies? And thank you guys all for participating, so appreciate it. Oh my gosh. Oh, terrible. And some of these bosses have like unlimited enemies to kill, so this might not be a great idea. Come on. A couple more. Ah, uh, they're gonna all come for me now. It's wonderful. No, it's... Oh my gosh. Why are you here? <laughs> this is called awful. I, I, I don't I don't recommend any of this. If you play the game... <laughs> I'm, you know. Right, you know. The winter of man is coming. Okay, so you get to choose whether to kill or um, dominate him and control him. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and dominate, and uh, we're gonna command him. So uh, now he's our war chief. And we can fight other war chiefs with them. Yeah, it did work. <laughs> a little ridiculous. <laughs> it's kind of cool. And now all of his uh, little minions are going to help me out too. So yeah. <laughs> That's one way to end the stream right there. So uh, thank you guys all for watching. Um, I, guys, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Um, again, for the people that won, I will be um, messaging you this, uh, the code, so stay tuned to your inbox for that. Um, thank you guys all for enjoying the stream. <laughs> Appreciated everyone watching, and uh, tune in every Tuesday at 3.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.
And um, yeah, if you have any questions, message me on Twitch or message us on Twitter at official underscore AIAS. And uh, that's about it. Any other um, games or people you want to see to uh, feel free to message us. We're usually pretty quick about responding to everybody. So um, please, please, please message us. We love hearing from you guys at all times. <laughs> so, nah, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Take care. Until next time. <laughs>